Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Happy Earth Day, I hope this week and today you found some ways in which you can save energy. I know a couple of days ago, I walked the kids to school so that we didn't have to drive and that was a little fun experience for the kids and uh, got me some exercise as well. Now, today I'm actually teaming up with a bunch of other creators to talk about ways in which you can save energy with your smart home through the hashtag energy challenge. So here I'm at my electrical panel. I'm here all the time showing you how to turn on and off the power to get devices set up. But now let's talk about some ways in which these smart devices are actually helping me save energy. Let's head to number one. So here we are at my Google Nest smart thermostat. Now a smart thermostat was actually the very first smart thing that I added into my home. So ever since I've had this home, I've been able to easily turn up and down the temperature um, depending on my comfort level. So I think this is such a great way to save energy because I can set a schedule where it's automatically going to adjust to be more efficient. So instead of keeping the heat on in the morning, it can automatically turn that off as the sun rises so that it can naturally warm up and then at night, I can turn it off and we'll get into like turning on fans in a little bit, but um, it just makes it so easy to have a schedule created. And then I also like how when my wife and I leave the home, it automatically turns on eco mode. So it's going to save energy when both of us are away from the home so that uh, the house is able to be a little warmer or a little cooler um, so that when we're not here, we're not wasting energy. Let's head to my furnace. Now here at my furnace, you can see that it is a new updated system. So this year we actually had the AC unit died and they recommended to just replace both systems at the same time. They were almost 30 years old. So I decided it was time. And so I decided to upgrade to a 96% efficient furnace, which is pretty much the best you can get. So it's going to use less gas and just be better for the environment overall. So that's one thing I'm really glad that I did this year when upgrading my furnace so that long-term it's going to be better for the environment and um, hopefully we'll use less gas going forward. Now with my Nest thermostat, I like how I can come in here to the energy dashboard and I can look at how much we have used. You can see today, not very much at all. This week we can see our stats. The weather is getting a bit warmer outside, so we're seeing a little more cooling. And there we can see the month stat, the days that were hot, and I can even go back um, and see where I was at. So this is really nice that you have the option to come in here and improve your usage and be one of the most efficient neighbors. Now, the second way in which I like to save energy with my smart home is through smart lighting. So actually, as of just a month ago, every single light bulb in my house is able to be turned off by voice or it is connected in some way. So, um, it's quite an achievement, I would say, but one of the benefits of that is now they're all LEDs, so there are more efficient lights. And then also, they can automatically be turned off with different routines and so on. One of my favorites is here in the bathroom, I added a motion sensor where it automatically turns on when I enter the room, and then if the kids are gone for so long, it automatically turns off if they forget to turn off the light. Um, I think at, in this time of night, I have it set to a few minutes, but then I can simply turn it off there. So I don't have my routine set up at this time because this is when the kids are usually playing, um, but I can set that where these lights can automatically turn off. And then I love how if I'm in bed and I see that we left some lights on, I can also just simply go through and turn those all off right from my phone. Now the third device that I use in the home to save energy is with smart window coverings. So in this room, I have smart blinds. In other rooms, I have smart shades. Now during the middle of the day, it gets very warm in here. This is a south facing window and so the sun is just beating down on these windows. And so as what I have happen is these blinds automatically shut every afternoon so that they no longer are having the sun come into this room. So it's a lot more comfortable to sit in here and do homework and whatever it is at the kitchen table. And so that uh, we're a lot more comfortable and it's saving energy by not needing to turn on the cooler as much by keeping the house warm. And I can do that for the other rooms in the house as well that have these smart window coverings. And then a few hours later, after it's not so hot, the shades automatically open up so that we can see the sunset and it's just a really fun thing to have in the house. 
So those are the smart blinds. Next, let's talk about the smart fans. So over the last year, I have spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make a bunch of different fans smart. So now every ceiling fan in my house is smart. So is what I can do with that is now I don't have to have the AC running as much at night and I can have the fans turn on per room and change the speed to adjust for the comfort level of that room. Hey Google, turn on bedroom fan. So here the fan is now on and I can even make this more smart. So I use the SmartThings platform where I can adjust and have this automatically turn on with other temperature sensors that I have in the room and so on. But right now it's pretty simple to just simply turn it on if we need to at any time and then we can have it automatically turn off if it gets to a certain temperature and turn back on and so on. So it's really nice to be able to do this for each room instead of having the AC just run really cold all night long. Now let's head to number five. Turn off the bedroom. I love how I can turn off everything with one command. All right, now we're back to one of my favorite places in the house, the kitchen. Now have you ever gone to the fridge and you wanted to see what was in the fridge and you hold the fridge doors open for a very long time and your parents are like, hey, shut the fridge doors, you're letting all the cold air out. Well, every time you do let the cold air out and you shut the fridge again, it takes more energy to cool the fridge back to the cooling temperature. So with the Samsung, I worked for him for seven years, I can't say the name. With the Samsung Family Hub fridge, you do have the option to use the camera inside to see what is in the fridge. So here I have this nice Family Hub touchscreen. If I touch the screen twice, it will then show me what is inside the fridge without actually having to open it. So there I can see we have the eggs. I can see that we have the milk. I'm looking for the cake that we had left over last night. I don't see it, somebody probably ate it. But there I can quickly see what is inside the fridge without having to open the doors. So over time, that can actually save me a lot of energy. And I could even use this screen to be able to label exactly what I have in there so that I know um, what is or is not in there. And that's actually really fun because when I'm away from home, I can use the phone app to be able to check what's inside the fridge so that I can know if I'm out of milk or not. So there you go, those are my five favorite ways in which I've used my smart home to save on energy. And I'd love to know about ways or ideas that you have about how you are going to save energy. Now with this energy challenge, there is actually an option to go and win a pro subscription of IFTTT. And you can do that by checking out the link in the description and filling out the form and adding me on there. And then you can go through that whole process Process. Now I'd also recommend you check out the playlist that's gonna pop up right here and check out some of the other things that these other awesome smart home creators have done to save energy in their home. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.